Hey guys, what's happening? Um, so, I want to talk a little bit about this chainsaw that I just got. I found it at a yard sale. Um, I was at a yard sale. The guy had a uh, uh, kerosene heater that I wanted, but he also had this chainsaw sitting there. I asked him if it ran. He said, oh yeah, it runs great. He tried to get it started. It wouldn't start. So he was like, I don't know, man. Uh, I don't know what's wrong with it. So I ended up getting basically a brand new kerosene heater. Um, a kind of expensive model um, and this for 50 bucks total. As soon as I started looking at it, first thing I noticed is this primer bulb is dry rotted and cracked. So it's not pulling fuel up into there the way it's supposed to. So I'm going to try replacing that. Um, I, I've never actually done that on one of these chainsaws, but I really don't think it's a very hard job. Looks like there might be a total of five or six screws I got to take out, um, and then we'll get to that primer bolt. So let's get started. So it looks like, at least on this model chainsaw, there's a couple of screws here on the top that you've got to loosen. I don't think you have to take them all the way out, uh, but it looks like they go down into that cover that covers up that primer bulb. And now I'm actually going to take the screws loose that are covering up access to get to that primer bulb. There's one. came off pretty dirty in there. I have to clean that out before I put it back on. And so there's our primer bulb. Looks like it's just got a couple Phillips screws holding it on. So I'll take those off. And when you pull this off here, I'm going to take it off here so you can see it. Uh, it's going to have a couple fuel lines coming into the back of it. And that obviously goes into the fuel tank, pulls fuel up into there. So you're going to have to pull those fuel lines off and attach them to the new primer bolt. So I actually ordered a little kit off of Amazon. Um, I was just looking for a primer bulb, but I found this kit. It's got a little air filter, some fuel lines, some some fuel filters, a spark plug, and my primer bulb. I got all of this for, I think it was $7.99. So that was a really good deal for me because if I had gone to Lowe's or Home Depot or someplace like that, I probably would have paid that much just for the primer bulb. So now I'm going to take this new primer bulb. You can see it's got a little couple little studs there on the back to attach those fuel lines. So I'm going to go ahead and take the old one off, put the new one on, and we're going to see if we can get this thing going. And I'm probably going to need some like uh, little pliers or something to pull the lines off that bulb. So we'll see. Oh, well, that one came off pretty easy. And if you you just have to mash these lines up so they go back on the same and you can kind of tell because one of those is just a little bit longer than the other one same goes for the bulb that's on here so just match them up stick that, that one right back on there and this one might not come off quite as easy so down through there so that's a bummer so I'm gonna have to fish that 
that out of there. Give me just a second. Okay, I fished that fuel line out of there and uh, got it connected. So now I've got both my fuel lines connected to the primer bulb. And I'm gonna stick it back in here and screw it in and we're gonna see what happens. Pulling fuel up into here. I don't know if you guys can really see that, but uh, yeah, pulling fuel up into there. So that's that's a good sign. So go ahead and put this back on here. I'll worry about cleaning all this up later. So there you go, I'm pretty happy about it. Um, so, um, you know, a lot of times with these uh, pieces of equipment, like chainsaws or weed eaters and different little small engine pieces of equipment like this, um, I mean, small engines can be a little tricky to work on. I'm definitely not a small engine expert, um, but I've come to discover that sometimes it can be pretty simple things. It can be some dry rotted fuel lines that aren't allowing fuel to, to get to the engine. Um, it, it could be um, primer bulbs that have rotted out. I've seen this several times. Um, so you just kind of have to look them over real good before you toss them out. You know, it could be a part that cost you a few bucks to get it running again. So got this thing in the yard sale. Like I say, I got it for next to nothing because I got a kerosene heater in the deal with it. And the kerosene heaters were three times what I paid for that anyway. So I basically got this for free. Threw a primer bulb and a couple fuel lines on it. Seems like it's running good. All right. Um, keep it up, you guys. You know, keep DIYing, do your thing, save money. And, uh, you know, we can all do things for ourselves. We don't always have to pay somebody else to do them. A lot of this stuff is fairly simple. Um, I'll talk to you all later. Have a good one.